I am Navin, instructor of uh, SJPT. Now we are doing the sieve analysis of base sand. When we are, we are finding the GFN, GFN means the grain fineness number of the sand. As for the base sand, we want to find out the grain fineness number of the base sand. Here we use the sand sieve weighing machine. When we come from sand sieve, we are 10 takes of the sieve sieve. Here orderly it is arranged. It is start from 1700 micron. 850 micron, 600, 425, 300 micron, 212 micron, 150 micron, 106 micron, 75 micron, 53 microns. It is the sand sieve here. First, when we want to release the, open the clamp, observe here, hold the one line from top side, and it is the spring bar, lift it for top side, carefully lift the plate. Now here, yeah, 10 types of the sieves is there. It is called the sieves. It is the 1700 micron sieve. Order wisely we want to arrange it. It wants to start from 1700 micron, ends from 53 microns. When we are doing the sand testing, first we want to write the tabular column. It is the tabular column for sieve analyzers. Here, first we write the cell number, sieve number, weight of the sieve before test, weight of the sieve after test, sand retain percentage of the sand multiplier product first we want to note down the sieve numbers as per this here start from 1700 850 like the 10 sieves is there first we want to note down the 10 sieve number we have written already here it is for 1700 to 53 microns totally 10 sieve is there one span is there we want to take the weight of the sieve before test when we are doing bite of the tape, say before test, first we want to clean this, use the normal cleaning brush only, properly clean this one. Once the sieve is clean, it means take the weight of the sieve individually. Now it is for 318, write down there, 318. It is for before test. The same way, take the weight for sieve individually. All the sieves take the weight. The next one is the 289. Write down 289. This one is the span. The span is just like a tray. Take this span weight. 267. Now we have written the weight of the sieve before test. The first one is the 318. Second one is the 289. Third one is the 305.5. The same way we have written, written the span is the to 67. Next, we want to note down for weight of the sieve after test. We take the, we have taken the weight of the sieve before test. Again, orderly arrange this one properly. We arrange the sieve for as per order wise. We have taken the weight of the sieve before test. Now, we want to take the weight of the sand. When we want to take the weight of the sand, just take it for 100 gram sand. The 100 gram is very easy to identify the different grains. We have taken the mixed sand. Just for identification, we have taken mixed sand. Take it for 100 gram. No 100 gram sand is taken. Once the sand is taken means put it from top of the sieve. Now place the cover. Now clamp it. When you are clamping, first one end lock it like this. The other end, the spring lift it for top side and properly rigidly close this one like this. Once the machine is set up now, here on and off switch is there. First on the switch, here time indicator is there. The standard time is the 15 minutes. When we keep the time for 15 minutes, after 15 minutes it will off automatically. That time when the machine will off, after that we want to take the weight of the sieve. Now I am keeping the time for 15 minutes. Still 2 minutes is there. After 2 minutes the machine will off automatically. We have set it for 15 minutes. The timer came for up to zero, still one minute is there. Fill on off automatically when the zero is reached.
Yes, the tissue will get vibration. The vibration itself, the sand will be distributed for equally in all the senses. Once the machine is off means, now we want to take the weight of the sieve off the test. Just observe, just remove the clamp like this. Now we can see the different grains of the sand. We want to take the weight of the sieve individually. Now 345. Write down here. For weight of the sieve, 345. The same way, all the sieves take the weight of the sieves. 315. The last one is the span. Take the weight of the span. Sometimes it will come same. Whatever comes the weight, we want to return. 267. Write on here. 267. Now we have taken the weight of the sieve after test. Now we want to find out the sand return. See here, we want to minus this one. Before test, after test. Minus for 345 minus 318. That is the sand return. Sand return is the 27. Same way, write on each and every one. Up to span we want to take. Here minus it for. 215.5, 289. We want to minus for 256.5, 255.5. Here, 0, the span also 0. Now we are taken for sand return. As for the same number, 1700 micron, the sand return is 27. We are taken the sand return. Now we want to Count the percentage of the sand here. We have taken the weight of the sand taken for 100 gram. Whatever the sand return, that is the percentage of the sand. Now it is the 27 percentage, 26.5 percentage, 0 percentage, 0 percentage. Now we have taken the percentage of the sand. Next we want to write the multipliers. The multiplier is the the standard number we want to write out. As for 1700 micron sieve, we want to take the multiplier for 5. As for 850, 10. The same way we want to otherwisely write the multiplier number. 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 100, 120, 200, 300. It is the standard multipliers. Depends upon the sieve microns, we want to take the multipliers. When the sieve number is increases, the multiplier decreases. As for span, we want to take for 300. We have taken the weight of the sieve after test. Just observe here how the sand is distributed from different sieve itself. It is the 1700 micron sieve. It is the 800 micron sieve. See the different sieves, the sand grains. How the sand grains is distributed for differently. Totally 10 sieves is there. The machine itself, we want to take the sieve number and weight of the sieve before test, weight of the sieve after test. This three reading we have taken means using the tabular column itself we want to find out the product. When we want to find out the product we want to multiply for multiplier and percentage of the sand. We want to multiply for 5 multiply by 27 we want to write the product. Multiply Now we want to multiply for 5 into 27 it comes for, it comes for 135 next is the 10 into 26.5. 5 it comes for 265. The same way we want to write the multiplier numbers. Now count the percentage of the sand. Totally it wants to come for 100. Why means we have taken the weight of the sand 100 gram. Totally it wants to come for 100. Add this one 27, 26.5, 9.5, 8, 2, 1, 8, 6.5, 2.5, 1. 
totally unwrap now add the product we have calculated the product count this one the product will comes for 135 plus uh, 265 192 40 totally 235 now we want to find out the gfn gfn means grain finest number of the sand first we want to write the product 25 2535 divided by percentage of the sand now we have calculated the product and percentage of the sand calculate it will comes for 25.3 25.3 the grain average grain finest number is the 25.3 now we have done the c1 analysis of the base sand first we have written the tabular column first we want to write down the sieve numbers after that we want to take the weight of the sieve before test weight of the sieve after test next we are finding the sand retained in the sieve next percentage of the sand multiplier multiplier is the standard numbers 5 10 20 30 40 50 70 100 120 200 300 next we want to find out the product we want to multiply for percentage of the sand and multiplier then we are finding the product count the product for totally the total product is then we want to find out the grain, average grain finest number of the sand we want to divide by product of the sand next percentage of the sand now gfn is the 25.3 we all find the gfn next properly clean the all the sieves order wisely arrange this one almost we have cleaned all the sieves properly arrange this one clamp this one place the cover observe how to lock when we are locking the plate first one end place it like this the other end properly rigidly lift the spring bob of top side properly like this we want to clamp this almost we are done everything in c1 analysis machine